I thought that uh, Alabama uh, really was hard to defend tonight. We had a hard time staying in front of the ball. Uh, they really hurt us in transition. And we had at times uh, where we weren't communicating well enough and giving up some open looks, especially uh, early in the game. Um, and give them credit. I thought Lewis and, and Petty were terrific. And they have been all year long. And it's really a, a, a style where when Lewis is able to penetrate and create so much by his quickness and his speed, it makes it very difficult because they spread you out so well. I think Reese really is a hard guy to match up with as a five because he spaces the floor so well. Um, you know, we, we, we've got to knock down off the shots. We had some open looks tonight, especially in the second half. I thought we missed uh, that, you know, I expect that we'll make. Uh, we have to execute better offensively. I thought their defense, you know, definitely causes problems. This is two games now in a row where we haven't shot above 40% uh, after really having a good field goal percentage, uh, you know, efficiency rating coming into the conference. Um, and uh, again, give Alabama credit. I mean, I think they've been a very good team, and I think uh, that uh, they really spread the floor out and have a bunch of shooters, and they shoot the ball really well from the perimeter. We'll start with Logan, front row to coaches, right? Coach, uh, cut the lead, or cut the deficit to, to six in the second half. You know, coming out of a timeout and just kind of got away from you there. We just, what happened over that stretch for coming out of that timeout? You know, it was uh, we actually got a rebound and kicked it out. Abdul did, I think, down uh, six, and uh, they got a steal. He tried to pass back to Robert, kind of, you know, went off his hands. It's kind of an awkward thing. And uh, that Petty at that point really made a couple of big threes, as I remember. I think Petty comes down, and, you know, the three-point shot, uh, you know, makes it go from six to twelve in a hurry. I think there were a couple of them. Uh, and I thought in the first half, we were down one with four minutes to go, and I gave, you know, four of 17, I gave Reggie a quick blow because the game was slow up and down. And, uh, you know, I, I thought that we uh, didn't control the pace again. I mean, we, we took 68 shots on Saturday and 69 today, both highs for the year. They only took 57 shots because they got the line a lot more. Um, you know, and they shot, obviously, a very high percentage from three, uh, 10 for 24, but... Uh, I, I thought in the first half we did a great job fighting ourselves, clawing back. I think we actually had the lead at one point there, up by one, uh, and, and really didn't capitalize on it to go down. Uh, I think we were down uh, yeah, eight at the half. And then we come out to start the second half, we have two turnovers, our first two possessions. We only had 11 for the game, but those were big. They were, they were like momentum killers. Actually, we had a, a post feed that was open. We didn't pass big first, and they deflected it. And then we came down and tried to get in the post and turn it over again. And, you know, we, we, we can't have those kind of turnovers. We've got to keep trying to play uh, through our inside guys. I thought Nick had a, a, a good second half and was more aggressive offensively and got more comfortable out there against uh, the pressure. Go to the gentleman in the gray sweatshirt in the second row, and then we'll go next to him with Garrick. Talk about it. They take a lead, you know, with a couple minutes to go in the first half, and, and then it seems like they went inside a lot. Galen Smith... Uh, 30 have back-to-back, -back, you know, post plays. And just how much did that kind of get away? And were you expecting to play more inside in the game than they did? Uh, no, I, mean, I thought a couple of his post feeds were off of kicks. You know, they were like, you know, penetration and were coming to help and they're dishing it off, making some nice passes to them. I thought Galen played very well tonight for them. Uh, really did some nice things for him. He's got a great motor and, you know, he's a redshirt junior, so he's older. Uh, but, uh, you know, we just got to be able to withstand those, those, those pushes. You know, our strength is Abdul and Reggie around the basket. You know, us getting in foul trouble there early hurt us, uh, especially with Abdul. And they played eight minutes in the first half. And we got to get more minutes from him. And I was concerned about going into the game, to be honest. We'll keep it on the second row with the gentleman in the middle. Let me bring him. About a year ago, you started 0-2 in SEC play. Now, same thing again, still put together a nice year last year. How do you regroup and then put together a step run down the stretch? Yeah, we've got, to, we've got to grow. I mean, you know, I mean, I think for a couple of our guys, it's their first road game. And, you know, Survivors and DJ, they both got, you know, I thought pretty significant minutes. And, they, you know, they, they, they've got their opportunities that are going to continue to come to them. And, you know, we'll, we'll be better next time. I mean, I thought the biggest thing for us, defensively, is not being able to stay in front of the ball. Even when we're just one-on-one. -on -one, they're able to beat 
get us off the bounce. We've got to do a better job staying in front of the ball. and uh, We've got to do a better job at getting our defense set in transition. We've got to execute better. We've got to work harder offensively to, to be uh, tougher against pressure and, and to you know, be tougher against phys physicality. A couple of games in a row now where uh, Tyson has really struggled. I saw him come out there with Derek before the game working on the shots. How do you get his confidence kind of back? Yeah, I mean, he's a senior now. Uh, I, I talked a lot yesterday before we played this game about using a shot fake because everybody's playing him for the three. Uh, and, you know, he had some good looks tonight that he missed, but he'll come out of it. He'll, he's a shooter. I mean, he shoots well. He's just got to, you know, fight through it mentally. This happens sometimes to shooters and, uh, you know, create some things. I, th I thought he did a very good first half, and he ends up playing, you know, a, a lot of minutes for us. And uh, you know, I thought Robert battled tonight. I thought Robert you know, was one rebound away from a double double. Um, you know, give Alabama credit. I think Alabama got uh, a, a lot of depth, and uh, I think that they're uh, a hard team to match up with, especially with Lewis at the point. I mean, Lewis is just a real. You can see why he's an NBA prospect. Uh, you know, he really is difficult to match up with and stay in front of. And they run a lot of things. With his reach out high, it really opens up the floor for him to be able to penetrate even more. Coach, how, how big was it uh, for Reginald Perry means so much to your team is, is one of the best players in the country. For him to foul out with seven minutes to go, you guys were making a big run to get back in it. Yeah, it really hurt us. And uh, I probably should have had him out of there at that point. It's kind of rolled the dice. I think it was like, you know, a 10 or 12 point game. And so, you know, you're figuring he's got to stay in there. And he was actually trying not to foul when he fouled. And so, you know, you just got to keep playing your normal way and, and not worry about getting that, that fifth foul. Get it to the front row, the gentleman in the middle, blue hat. Uh, Coach Oates, obviously, in his first season in the SEC. Maybe what are some of your uh, memories from your first season in this league, and what advice maybe would you give to new coaches in this in the SEC? Well, our year was, you know, we had three really good seniors, and actually, you know, uh, uh, Craig Sword, who, who's a, a product of Alabama. Uh, we had some guys that really battled, and, uh, you know, he, he's got some good veteran guys that, that have been here and been on some good teams, and I think they're doing a really good job of, uh, uh, you know, playing with a lot of depth. I mean, uh, you know, I, I like their team, and they're a team that's uh, going to be hard for people to beat. I mean, but honestly, they should have won down in Florida in the first game, watching that game, they had a nine-point lead with 2 30 to go, and it was just a miracle that Florida was able to get that win. So you know, this is a team that's uh, you know, going to be hard to reckon with here moving forward. And, uh, I, I think they play good both ends of the floor. Anything else for Coach before we let him go? All right, thank you guys. Thanks.